Greetings YouTube. So, I've uh, been out on the bike today. Gorgeous weather out there, it's a bank holiday Monday. But um, yeah, on low revs, it's it's not happy. Um, started up okay, um, when I'm revving it, no problems at all. But for some reason, when I'm sort of pootling along below sort of one and a half thousand revs, it's coughing, it's spluttering, it's not running on all cylinders. So, I can only assume it needs a little bit of carb work. So, I've got the tank off already. Um, if you haven't uh, seen my other videos of uh, doing the carbs and doing the spark plugs, uh, it shows you how to take the tank off. It's really easy, there's four bolts, and the only thing you've got to be aware of is the, if you can see there, the petrol tap. Uh, that sits in there, and you can't get it off unless you physically take that little baby off. So, not difficult to get off. Um, I've just loosened the top cover off like that so the top cover comes off we'll stick that over there at the way good camera work and basically now i'm just going to take the under tray off already pulled the pipes off there um obviously need to undo those just there those two uh, two clips and there's two bolts there and there's two at the back and it should just slop off and then i'll get into the carbs and uh, it's carb removal time so join me in a second so that's the cover off and there's the carbs exposed. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just visually check them, make sure all the butterflies are working okay. Uh, the sliders seem to have plenty of vacuum. Yep, they all sound good. Um, I will take the caps off and have a good check. Um, I'm also going to put that off there. That can stay on. Um, the cables I'm going to have to fiddle about with and get those off, but I think I'm going to lift the carbs off first before I do that. Um, we've got the vacuum unit there, which uh, rubber's looking a little bit perished. Might have a look at that and see if there's a problem in there, because certainly any kind of vacuum leak is going to cause issues. Um, so, yeah. Um, taking the carbs off. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that looks like fun. Um, Right, yeah, I might have to have a bit of a rethink because it looks like to get the bolts out um, it's less than fun. So let's get this plate off first of all and see what I've got to work with. <coughs> so the bit you missed, yeah, <laughs> it's the, uh, the bit where um, I gassed myself. So I <laughs> took the, uh, the good old WD 40 meter car cleaner and uh, just basically. Those ports there, which uh, you're idle and, and um, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> your idle screw there, your mixture screw there, or your extra mixture port, mixture screw. Give those a good dosing with WD-40 and a bit of car cleaner, and they were pretty much bunged up. So I think that's where the problem lies, anyway. And obviously that directly goes into the float bowls as well. So indirectly, it's going to be cleaning all the parts inside the float bowl too. Um, so I just struck it up um, and it made quite a mess and quite some smoke. So just to demonstrate what a dickhead I am, <laughs> let's try and hold the camera and um, do it again. There you go. Not too bad this one. Obviously no more kettle inside there. that off <laughs> um, but definitely running a lot better so whatever crud was in there and I'll take it as old fuel because it's been sitting around for so long is definitely blasted out so uh, looks good to me I am going to start reassembling it again and um, yeah hopefully get another ride on it uh, very soon uh, it's been a very good day today it's been really nice and sunny outside and it's been really hot so yeah good day for biking um, so that's it pretty much um, carbs cleaned I'm going to give them a blow out with the airline very carefully just to make sure any crud in there is gone and see how it operates from there. But I think rather than stripping the whole carbs down and doing them, I think the only problem is certainly the uh, the intakes there, the air holes that basically, uh, thank you, do all the mixture, were bunged and bunged and bunged. Well and truly. Right, that is it. ZX9R going back together. Okay, YouTube, so it's uh, it's the next morning. Um, I had a bit of a problem last night with the fuel pipe. Uh, fuel pipe's under there, you can't really see it, but uh, 
I had to go out and get some new pipe this morning because the uh, the old one, if I can find it, um, had a little rip in it just there. Um, and this is quite a new piece of, uh, of hose, this one, so I'm a bit disappointed with the hose in general. Um, it was supposed to be fuel line, I'm not entirely sure it is because it seems to have gone quite hard and brittle. Um, so, yeah, basically it just ripped like that. So that wasn't going to get used again. Could have probably trimmed it down a little bit, but what's the point? So when that this morning I got myself some proper fuel line that's marked up as fuel line. And now I'm going to stick the choke on and see what happens. Here we go. does sound a lot lot better. A little bit of residual smoke because obviously yesterday I cleaned the cards out with car cleaner and WD-40. But uh, yes, the season running on all four echo. Okay. And that's with a choke off. So she's tipping over quite nicely now. Where she should be. So I am going to call that a success. Just got to clean the baby up now because there's dirty fingerprints all over it. And just check obviously, make sure the new fuel pipe is not leaking. It seems good to me. Um, and then put a couple of bolts in there and a couple of bolts in there and that's it. Maybe later take her out for a ride. Who knows? So that is um, <laughs> a quick way of cleaning the carbs without actually taking the carbs off. Um, I could have set the carbs off. It is uh, basically four screws at the bottom. Um, but I've took carbs off bikes before and getting them lined up again and getting them sorted out is a real pain in the backside. So that seems to have done the trick anyway. It's, thank you. It's been sitting a while so it's understandable that there's uh, a bit of dead fuel in the jets. Um, but obviously by putting the, the cleaner in there and WD-40 to lubricate a little bit and uh, getting the airline on there and just giving it a gentle blow jobs are good and happy with that uh, if you're riding today or over the week have fun enjoy yourself i'm certainly going to chisel